Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the SRA Fast Chip SMD Removal Alloy. Comes in this nice little package here. If I can get that to focus. There we go. And this that's actually the instruction sheet for the SMD Fast Chip alloy. And the purpose of this alloy is to successfully remove a package or a chip from a PCB and not damage the pads on the PCB so you can actually put a new chip in its place. So we're going to go ahead and try to demonstrate this. The instructions are fairly simple. It says to apply the flux and then apply the alloy evenly to all the pins. And I already have a piece here that I've taken out and straightened as much as possible. And when you straighten this you want to be very careful. It can be a little brittle so take your time real slow, even a little bit of heat from your own fingers and it will help you straighten that out so you have a straight piece to work with. And I got the microscope set up here and we have a board that I don't care about right here. <laughs> and we're actually going to focus in on my monitor so you can get a closer look and watch how it works. Let's go ahead and focus into the monitor. Here we go. Try to get you in there as much as possible so you can get a good look at what I'm doing there. Now working underneath the microscope is, well, it's challenging to say the least. But let's see what I can do. So the first thing you want to do is actually apply the flux and it comes with a small tube It says SRA TF5000 no clean paste flux and you can see it's a fairly small tube but you don't need a lot you just need to be able to get a little bit of flux on all the pins of the package that you're looking to remove from the PCB board. So I'm, this is actually going to be difficult to apply the flux so I'm going to remove this out from behind the microscope to apply the flux. So you can see I just have a small bead of flux on both sides there. There we go. And it's evenly covering every pin. as it's supposed to. Well, I seem to have missed one pin down here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this. There it is. Now it's on that pin. And this pin over here, maybe I didn't get enough, so I'm going to push this again. There's enough on the board. I'll push this around a little bit. There we go. And I want to get the base of the pins. You want the pins to be covered on the actual board itself because these are the pins that we're trying to get off. So as soon as I make sure that's all covered, there we go. That looks good. So then we're going to take the soldering iron and the fast, fast chip removal alloy. We're simply going to heat up the pins. While applying some of the alloy. And as the pins heat up, the alloy will actually start to take to the pins. So I'm slowly dragging the alloy across and at this point I think I need a little bit more so we'll add a little bit more until we can get all the pins covered there there it is, you want one nice straight bead and we'll do the same thing to the other side here and 
while blowing away the smoke. Try not to breathe the smoke if you can. Usually I have the smoke extractor turned on, but for noise reasons in doing this video, I'm trying to uh, keep it a little bit more quiet. So then we're going to go back and heat up this side, and you can see in that fast the chip is heated up and come off. Now, to remove the rest of the alloy that's actually on the board is very simple. You're going to clean your soldering tip and you're going to drag it away from any other parts. And you'll notice that just dragging it with your soldering tip your soldering tip will actually pick up the remainder of the alloy that's there. I have quite a bit on here, so there we go. And you can see a little bit got in the middle here. You just simply take your soldering iron, pick that up too. And we want to heat this up and drag this across too as well. There we go. And now I got a blob in the middle. Let's move that over to the cleaning tray. You can see one of these is actually bridged. So we'll just drag the soldering iron across it, like so. Until they all have nice clean contacts. That's pretty much it. That is the purpose of this alloy. To be able to remove a package or a chip and not damage the board so you can apply a new chip. So at this point you want to take some uh, rubbing alcohol and clean that flux off of there. And apply your soldering paste if you choose to use soldering paste or however you decide to apply the uh, new chip. So I have some alcohol pads here. I'm just going to clean this off. And then put the microscope back on it so you can get a close look. Okay, perfect. It does exactly as advertised. That's really nice. Simple, clean, easy, and fast. So as you saw, it was quick, easy, nice to use. Definitely left nice, clean pads, reusable pads on the PCB board. No damage at all. So we can actually apply a new chip to that board. And I definitely get the uh, S-Ray Fast Chip SMD removal alloy two thumbs up. I like it. That went a lot smoother than I thought it would have. Fairly quick and easy. And it comes with quite a bit too. That one chip did not take much at all. So it came with one, two, three, four, five pieces actually. So now I have to bend this carefully again if I want to keep it in this package. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, straightened it out to begin with. I'm going to do this very carefully while warming it up so it doesn't break. There we go. So yeah. Quick, easy, nice, clean, fast. All good things in my book. Two thumbs up for it. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. And you'll be notified when I actually release the next video. And if you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And keep on building.